Welcome back, everybody, to day nine of Valorant Champions and our second match of the day. It's Paper X taking on Foot Esports. I'm your host, Yingsu, and with me on the desk once again, it is Mimi and uh, Bola. We've seen one EMEA, EMEA team already uh, in action. Didn't go quite well, so I'm hoping the one uh, team region that everybody was talking about is Foot. Sorry, I'm losing <laughs> my mind because Mimi, right before we go live, is just doing the most, like, I don't know, trolly Mimi type thing. She said, yeah. Guys, we're coming back. Ella, welcome back. Uh, foot, uh, let's see if they put the right foot on the line. On their it foot. would have been a great catch. Right I don't know why you didn't actually. use it. Right. A shoe on the right. You can't even get it right, man. Oh, because yeah, yeah, I'm losing yeah. my mind. This is ridiculous. He's Focus, just, please. He's just finding playing. his footing. Finding his footing. Uh, yeah. Now, let's talk about foot because uh, this team. Why are you putting your hands on your head? Because that was worse. <laughs> that no, was terrible. She's sad that she didn't come Please, with can this. we talk about Can we talk about uh, foot? Yeah, let's talk the about team. This team, uh, they, had to, they had to grind through tier two last year in order to make it here. Mimi, they didn't even have the opportunity to play champions, even if they wanted to. I mean, it's a crazy story for this team. They've been together, I mean, since this core, since like 2020, grinding things out in Turkey. They make it through, win the Turkish VRL, make it into the VRL playoffs, win there. And then the next year, they make it into partnerships and they keep almost entirely the same roster, only switching in at a captain. And through all of that time over the those years of grinding, they're now at a position here where they're the first Turkish team to make it to a global events playoffs. It's insane. Yeah, it's the perfect example of a team coming from the lower circuits, making it to the stage and potentially going on a run here uh, uh, in playoffs. And like you said, first Turkish team here, it means a lot to these guys. And I think the kind of thing that I've been looking at, especially back to Tokyo, was they underperformed after they had already made it to champions, after now V lost. And that was a sign that they weren't going to be able to do what it took on this stage, but they've already proved that in groups, and we'll see how that continues. Yeah, you can see how much it means to the Turkish community as well. They are fully, fully behind this team. They want this team to go as far uh, as possible. But the thing is, Mimi, do you think that they also have what it takes? Because Paper Rex is a really, really difficult opponent. I mean, I think this is probably one of the most difficult view opponents you could draw for your first match here if you're foot. But I think the thing is that they've already, in a way, met a lot of their expectations, a lot of the community's expectations. They're in the situation where most people didn't expect them to be a top three team, top four team in EMEA. Most people didn't expect them to make it to champions, now to make it to playoffs. They've already defied so much that I think that you can kind of take it off and realize, hey, we're not the favorite. We've already made a great run happen, and that's where we see miracles happen from time to time. Absolutely, and I think a lot of their players thrive in that type of moment, right? Kiwi is a guy who will step up in games where he doesn't necessarily even need to, but because the pressure's off, I think you see Kiwi get really, really good, and that's why they've been able to qualify for Tokyo, four champions down the line in the NBA. Well, let's check in and see how Foot are doing today and send it over to Golden Boy, who is with Coach Gaius. Coach, come over here, my friend. How you doing, brother? You good? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Well, let's go ahead and talk about this matchup. Very exciting one here for you guys. Now, something that I'm curious about is you've achieved so much for Turkish Valorant. Is there a sense of accomplishment within the team? And now that you have accomplished this, making top eight, being in bracket play, uh, do you feel less pressure or do you feel more pressure now going into these games? I guess we don't have pressure by the way. Uh, I don't know what to say. We have to move and move and move. Top, top four and maybe one, maybe take a champions. I don't know. So that's the objective. It's, it's not about learning. It's about going and winning the whole thing. But I know one thing. We are shaking and yeah. we're going to win today. Ah, yeah. Love it, baby. Love it. All right. Take it easy, coach. Oh, we shall see, guys. We shall see because Paper X, of course, they, they turned up here uh, with something on their roster. And Bola, I think so far he's uh, fulfilled expectations. Oh, absolutely. I think people are going to be a lot lower in on him than he deserves because he played a great, se great two series, in my mind, both against Crew and EDG. And he was really good. I mean, the moments that you saw from him were so electric that I think definitely deserved that that praise that he had coming into this as one of the most hyped players we've ever had at one of these global tournaments. Yeah, of course, Paper Rex uh, in general, as a team, as an org, they haven't uh, got themselves a trophy yet, you know, internationally. And uh, Forsaken, when asked about it, if this is their best chance, uh, he had a lot to say here. And uh, we're going to show you guys uh, in just a second what he actually had to say, which is, yeah, this <laughs> I mean, is the best chance. Really growing into his role. 
Carlos that. in IGL, he's such a young player, and to have such a maturity yeah. in giving these answers and stepping up to a new position for the team just always really impresses me with this guy. It's, it's a great answer. He's, he's not He's not wrong. They do have for... their best chance. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, a lot. Yeah. For... And I mean, they do. They finally have their full roster. They're playing a style that I think fits him so well, and they just come into every one of these global events with unreal confidence that they've already put on display. They breeze through their group. 2-0, 2-0, a little bit of a tougher game against EDG, but everyone expected them to make it out, and they have done so. And, well, it was really high expectations, high hopes for something, and this squad, I think thus far, they're showing why people thought that about Paper X. Yeah, and I think they're going to have time now to refine their style even more. They didn't necessarily have that in Tokyo when they were playing with the sub, constantly having to make sure that he gets up to speed, but they still showed that style. They didn't shy away from it. Now with something, they have the opportunity to really double down, make it so difficult for teams like Foot, who have never played against a team like Paper X in my mind, that's going to be really tough to contend with. Well, let's send it back to Golden Boy right now and get a quick word from Paper X's coach, Alex. Coach, let me get you for a minute over here, my friend. Always a pleasure to chat with you. Oh, it's always going good. It's always going good now that I'm talking to you. Uh, so, look, we know that you guys are coming to this matchup as a very strong favorite. You're at full power now. Is there anything in particular that you've noticed about this FUT team that could potentially slow down your momentum? Because this is a type of team that you simply just cannot take for granted. Yeah, of course. Uh, I really like the way they play. Really strong aimers, you know, similar to us. Um, also, I think it's cool that they run KO on every map. Uh, I think that's something we have to play around a lot more. Something different, yeah. All right. All right, man. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do, brother. Always a pleasure. Back to you guys. I mean, I can't wait to see what maps we're going to get today between these two because, as you heard there uh, from Alex, it seems like they're pretty prepared for what might be uh, coming up. So, I mean, without further ado, let's send this down to Coach Alex and Coach Gaius because we are ready for map selection and to find out which three we're going to get in this uh, matchup. Okay, for this matchup, PRX is going to be the higher seed coming out of groups. So would you like Team A or Team B? Team B. Team B. So, Foot, you will be Team A. And we will start with your first ban. Fracture. They ban Fracture. Your ban? Haven. Haven. And map number one from Foot? Ascent. Ascent. Side on Ascent. Attack. Attack. And map number two? Pick Pearl. You pick, sorry, what? Pearl. Pearl. And side on Pearl? Defense. Defense. Okay, next set of bands starting with foot, you have bind, lotus, and split. Bind. Bind. And then your band, you have lotus and split. Lotus. So you ban lotus. Ban and then map number three will be split, uh, foot, side on split. Defense. Defense. Okay, we'll run back through this. First set of bands, we have foot with fracture, PRX with haven. Map number one is ascent with PRX on attack. Map number two is pearl with foot on defense. Next set of bands were bind and lotus. Map number three decider is split with foot on defense. Yep. All right, yep. good luck to you both. Good luck. Good luck. Should still be the narrative in my mind, but you're right. It's always happening every single step of the way. And now against Paper X, they're gonna have to overcome those odds. We just saw one match go away from expectations. For this match though, Foot is gonna need to come super prepared, super ready for what curveballs Paper X are gonna throw at you, and also super well informed because 
these guys across the stage from them are insanely good. And Foot has never played against a team like Paper X. Paper X is so unique in their style. I think they're one of the hardest squads to prep for because what defines them isn't a bunch of set strategies. It's how they combine their utility on the fly, how they adapt to their opponent. They're excellent at it. And on top of that, this team just has excellent firepower. But you heard Coach Alex giving credit to Foot as well. That's what kind of got them through the early stages, back in Tier 2, back in Turkey, the raw talent of this team. But since then, in EMEA, it's been building up the structure, building up the prep. And the biggest question for me is, what has Coach Guys cooked up against a team like PRX? Yeah, yeah how do you even deal with some of those protocols that Paper X throw out there? Like you said, the adaptive, non-set strats, the stuff that are coming off of the fly. I mean, they just, it feels like they sit in the server, work out util combos, and just throw them all over the map. And that's what makes them be able to pull them out of the hat at any moment. Yeah. And I think this map pool is perfect for showcasing that because we're starting with Ascent. Uh, every Turkish team, it seems, is always excellent at Ascent and Foot is no different. But this is a map where we've seen Paper X with a few comps. They moved away from it with the sub at Tokyo, but at home in Pacific, they were known for this Harbor Viper Rain of Sky composition with the Rays as well in the mix that really, I think, is the comp that like sold me on this new Paper X with the little util combos between the Reina, between the Sky. It's excellent and I hope they return to it, well, and it looks like they will. They are going to return to it. What an exciting Prime Gaming uh, agent select here. Bala, what do you make of this? I love this comp. It was one of the comps that, you know, they didn't win with in the grand finals against DRX, but they went to overtime, and it was something super special. Uh, nobody has ever attempted this other than Paper X, and to be to be honest, I think this is where something becomes his best form. When he's playing this Reyna, when he has the harbor and the sky to be able to chop up angles and entry with together, it's better than his jet, in my mind. I agree. And the thing to watch for in this one is the combination between this Reyna and the Sky. Watch a cascade go down the extremity. You'll, you'll see a Reyna and a Sky Flash go through at the same time. It's so hard to deal with. And for Foot, if you've never played against a comp like this, you could be in for a treat against Paper X. Oh, I can't wait to see this and throw it over to our casters. Make uh, some noise here and give a warm welcome to Achilles and Paperson. Hello! Hello! And welcome, yes! It is time to kick off this series here, our last one of the evening, Paper X versus Foot, something that we wouldn't miss for the world. So it's great to be here. Our debut cast here at Champions. Yeah, we finally come all the way from Seoul, South Korea. Now we make our way to LA, and I'm really excited for this matchup. I cannot wait to see these two teams. You know, Foot has looked really good at times. They've already taken down T1 a couple times, uh, looking really impressive in that matchup. Yeah, they dropped to EG, but uh, I, I'm really interested to see how Foot's gonna approach this. You know, what have they learned? Because they run the same comp that DRX did when DRX did just barely beat them uh, on this map, beat PRX, I mean. A, a lot of that was also Buzz popping off, right? So Kiwi, sure. my eyes are on him. He's a guy who likes to push space. You know, is that going to give Paper X problems? But frankly, I don't know. You know, it's so hard to know what to expect with Paper X, even map to map, even if they play the same comps. And one of the big things that Paper X loves to do is get this bench control for Forsaken. From this position, he can try to set up for these site execs with that harbor, but for now, it looks like they're just going to go right. ahead and shove everybody down mid. Get ready to rush out, we're into the spawn, and Mr. Ball, it's caught by oh. the flash, but still manages to find two. Traded back, though, something in mind for getting one apiece. Mr. Paul and Anata Captain both going to be taken down. Now we find ourselves here on a 3v3. Something down to 22 HP. Does not have it of hour. Needs to get some of that healing here through from Devai. Gets pushed back up towards 100. Inching his way forward. Maj waiting on the cross. Tries to line up the head. Can't quite get it. Just a little bit whiffy on both sides, but Devai still comes out on top. What a wild start here for Paper Rex. Using both of those harbor walls to cut off short and then cut off towards the spawn. Get the... Get the Toxic, or excuse me, the poison cloud down. And now, a couple shots towards something. Just jiggle peeking here. I think Ryan Kiwi's line is going to try to use that Leer. He likes to put those on the ground to break crosshairs. Yeah, Leer off the back of the flash as well, just to try to really guarantee the blind through. Mind Freak giving his position up, and on the jiggle will take a little bit of damage. Sends down the bite. Flashback. The flash goes up over the top. Cracks looking for the entry. Drops down something. Gonna get caught up. Ends up getting taken down, but now it's gonna be a 1v2. Cracks at 40 HP. Look to try to bring this one back, but he cannot get it done. Paper X will find the opening round. And what I really like about this round for Paper X is one of the things that I did key in on uh, watching their previous matches during the group stage is that their, their pistol rounds were really readable. Teams were having a really good job of 
kind of identifying where Paper Rex liked to hang out, where they were going to kind of set up their attacks, and this was different. I've never seen them do something like this, where they just go all the way into Defender Spawn, use those double smoke utilities to clear the way. Even though that flash connects and somehow Mr. Fallen is able to find two, they're able to stabilize, get through, and get the round win. So love this change here from Paper Rex off the rip. As we can see on the side, foot not that much going to be invested here, just going to be two sheriffs. Kiwi does want to push the issue, moves up, almost has a collapse, and still comes away with one. Jake going to be taken down. Weapon will get scooped up by Forsaken, you would suspect. Yeah, Spectre will now be in hand, but a great opening shot. Get themselves an early advantage. Something just going to creep across over into Wine. This full-on gamble stack here from Foot is going to be maneuvered away from by Paper Rex. They don't like what they've seen so far. And yeah, Kiwi, if he can heat up, he can definitely give Paper Rex a lot of trouble. The guy has been absolutely stellar in this event. And Paper X is going to try to make their way back through short. And you can use the harbor walls, kind of fake a little bit of attention towards mid. Draw Maj over there. Kiwi again looking to Ooh. push forward. Gets the headshot just to the corner of the doorway. Mind Freak taken down. Dash now going to be expended. Cope goes up to so the flash. Actually not going to be able to connect. A little bit of disjointedness. This still looking to hound him down. And Forsaken will be able to find it without taking any additional damage. And coming away with one now, Mr. Fallen. Getting involved as well, finds himself an elimination, brings us into a 2v2. It's the weapons. One is recovered. Atta Captain now with a Spectre in hand. 30 seconds left. Something watching on the angle. The wall goes up. He's trying to spray through, but just doesn't have the vision, doesn't have the info. Now just have to back away. Both will get settled here in the site. I still got a paranoia here for Atta Captain to work with. He can definitely get this done. Sinking in something. Going to try to use that south side of the B site to lock this down. Vandal in hand for something. Loves that hero rifle. Yeah, you would love to get Mr. Fallen a weapon in this situation, but there's just no time. Have to go. Would have had to have gone way out of his way to try to make it happen. Now the reveal coming through. Tag goes in. Paranoia connects and something dead. As he tries to entry back down into the site. Matic Captain with the recovered Spectre fights. It and that is going to be us now tied up at one to one. Oh, what a beautiful paranoia there from Atta Captain. Nails both the paper racks and gives them an easy. Thrifty here at the end. Well played here, Kiwi having just a phenomenal start to this round. Again, loves to push space early. Loves to see if he can take contact. Uh, you know, clear utility, whatever he's got to do. And he finds a couple big kills. Oh. At the end here, Paper X a little bit disjointed, a little bit confused here off this early aggression from Foot. And that's something Foot's going to do. You know, it, it is kind of funny. The desk was talking about it. The, the styles actually kind of match up a little bit between these two teams. Yes, the agent comp's very, very different. Uh, but <laughs> oh, check his the desk. molding has begun, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Plenty more of that, I'm sure. We need a uh, a desk hit counter for Alex <laughs> throughout the game. He hasn't been pounding the desk too much so far, but uh, you know, head and hands that certainly has happened. But now let's see how they fare coming into this round. Still are spending down just a little bit here, Ching down to 1100, 50 for the side of the vise. Those stingers do come right. through. Cove, Lear up over the top to try to get them over into the site. Seekers leading the charge. We'll get the spot onto one. Kiwi going to be taken down to buy find that now. Mr. Fallen looking to hold things down here. Back in Boathouse. Finds two. Before getting taken out. Damage dealt, but they get themselves into the site. Spike still on the ground, not planted. And now it's all on Forsaken. Vandal recovered. Comes away with one. Needs two more, but he's not ready for Maj on that angle. Barely manages to clip him right through the corner, and that is going to be put now moving up two to one. Yeah, nice little one-way set up there. Allows Maj to just get the spot as the plant comes down. And, and a good defense here from Foot. A good start from Paper Rex. I like this cove right at the entrance, right behind the Seekers. Allows them to just kind of push right in towards boats. Now, Mr. Fallen, once again, doing a great job here so far, holding his ground. Gets a couple big kills there to really keep that round in hand for Foot. Had they been able to get him a little bit quicker, that could have turned around very, very quickly. But you're already seeing a lot of this kind of interesting oh, sort of the way that Paper Rex uses utility is so different than a lot of other teams. Looking to set up maybe a push here for Jing right oh. in. Oh. Straight over in towards bench, but Kiwi is there and he's got the shot lined up. Takes him down. Entry immediately shut down. So the rest of the teams ring around A, getting ready to entry over through tree. Just mind freak at the moment. He's over at main. Nano Swarm comes up off the back of the alarm bot destroy. Kiwi forced off his angle. Something though finds an opener. Other Spirit cutting across. Something takes it to Smith to get himself into the side just a little bit faster. And mind freak barely avoids getting tagged up by that one. But somehow, full blind with the paranoia, still comes away with a headshot. Kiwi now up into heaven, gonna be pushed off the angle by the snake bite. 
Dog forward, something swings off the back of it, right as Cracks is trying to clear it, ends up getting taken down. Mr. Fallen now arriving right when he needs to. Finds Forsaken, keeps things pretty even. Mind Freak down to 5 HP, makes this a very winnable prospect here for the side of foot. Gonna be tough now, something right on point of contact from short. No more util, no more leers. The creep up, divide with cover, fire off of the flank, finds Kiwi. Now Mr. Fallen, can he find some more? No, he cannot. Something with three. We'll take them across the line here in round number four and tie us up yet again at two to two. Really good patience here from Paper Rex. Off the rip, trying to see if they can get any space off of Jing. Jing trying to catch Kiwi a little bit off guard uh, with that op, but Kiwi well aware of it, expecting it right through that toxic screen uh, that they use to try to mask what they're doing here through mid. And then a good bait and switch between Devi and something using that Trailblazer to get that kill in short. So this is what really makes Paper Rex special. It's the way they combo off each other's utility, right? Whether it's, sure. you know, Devi and something, you know, they can double on their blind. Oh, tiles crush. Oh, wow, we're going right in. And uh, DRX does that a lot. You're not fooling Paper Rex on that one. Yeah, they're perfectly poised for it, knowing that the ult was going to be available. They were going to be on a lower buy. As Cracks will be able to come away with one. Odd bounce on the paint show. This is kind of clipping into the sign and not going into the corner of the cubby that he was looking for. Either way, though, it's a fast start, but a very fast shutdown. Paper X with four. Very much in control as the dog will go on a merry little chase. Not spotting anything, though, but Jing not getting punished. Position is revealed, and Maj will get taken down. That's Paper X once again establishing the, a little lead for themselves. Yeah, you can just, again, use Jing. Jing is... As great of a fragger as he is, as great of a raise as he is, a, a lot of times he's kind of an information, uh, you know, kind of resource gatherer for his team. You know, you see it on Pearl. He'll be on the... The living the recon dart. Exactly, yeah. So he's a living owl drone. <laughs> I mean, he's just running around, blast packing in, getting information for his team, and then they can make decisions off of that. And he's so good off of those blast packs. He's got the fastest reaction on the landing time of blast packs that I've ever seen. The guy just recovers so quickly uh, with those. But here... You know, doing the heavy lifting, doing the blue collar work, oh. something gets caught underneath that smoke. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say off back in hand, this could be problems, uh, troublesome, a problem for them is what I'm meaning to say, or troublesome. Not a combination of both. Either way, good punish coming through. He's playing off the one way, the stinger finds the kill. That can be a weapon recovered. I'm not sure the if they've already gotten it yet. Either way, got the fantastic reckoning. start. Yeah, you got the reckoning for Forsaken here. Let's see if he's going to be able to even invest it. Nope, he's not. Nope. Just Flying, swinging on the corner, playing off contact, and well, pull made contact with his face. Taken down, very much an advantage now established here for the side of foot. Look to tie us up yet again, keeping this neck and neck. Not wanting for Paper X to be able to break away from them here, especially given that foot are starting on this defending side. And Mr. Fallen's just been doing a wonderful job here on this Sova, holding down the B site. I mean, time and time again, just so clean with his aim. Really making it challenging for Paper X to get any foothold on the B site. Uh, you know, coming through that B main door, especially whether he's in boats. Shot, good. To Kiwi's been really clean with that off. He's been certainly on one here. It's Jing again, looking to entry. Left. They know that the Yoden is here. And well, he's gonna try and jump across to the opposite side, but Cracks shuts it down. Nice two kills here for the KO to tie us up yet again, three to three. This team seemingly inseparable at the moment. Yeah, I, I, Foot's doing a really nice job here, handling some of Paper Rex's trickery, some of their aggression, catching them off guard. Uh, and again, Mr. Fallen doing a great job receiving contact. Crack's still able to sit on that null command, but now you've got just about every ult available for Paper Rex. And you have a stinger for Jing because he's got the showstopper, so let's see if he's going to try to get something on through. But he's at top mid. It doesn't look like they're going to go for a set, you know, execute off of that showstopper here towards A. Just wait and see. Either way, Reckoning now going to be coming through. And yeah, he's going to pull the Showstopper off the back of that one. Macho over finding an opening kill. Takes him down. Kiwi going to be caught off guard. Does end up falling to the Showstopper. So he'll found a rifle recovered. And a hop, in fact, as Jing brings that forward into the A site. Just now going to be occupied here from the side of Paper Rex. Fallen still playing elusively. Or rather, had a captain. Playing elusively. Gets around the back side. Finds Forsaken. Mind free. Just managed to find that punish. But now the lockdown is in. They have no way to deal with this one. Back away, the Null Command as well, going to be invested. They just have to tuck back over in towards Wine. And that is going to allow for the foot players to go ahead and flood back into the site. This is really, really challenging now. Cracks here, recognizing they're likely stuck in Wine. Mind Freak trying to work off the back of that, and he might catch with the back, but Mr. Fallen is good to get two! And that's good to the spike now dropped. Mind Freak 
around the backside. Doesn't take any chances. Pulls the trigger as soon as he spots one, but he cannot line up the other. Cracks will be the finisher yet again. And that's going to be Foot once again taking the lead, just eking out very slightly ahead of him at four to three. I really like the start here for Paper X. I like the way they think about this as a timeout is going to come through. You need to kind of readjust it. And you know, normally you would expect that Jing's going to blast pack in with that showstopper to clear A site to try to get the plant down. Instead, he's coming through Catwalk, trying to come around the other side. And in fact, the Reckoning from Forsaken actually catches the edge of Kiwi. That's how it makes it a little bit easier there for Jing to come through and kill Kiwi on the side. It kind of reveals that position. And then they have that staggered utility like I was talking about, right? You use the Leer, you can use the Trailblazer, you can use the Cascades, these kind of things to just kind of leapfrog your way forward as Paper Rex. And yeah, it starts out great, but again, Foot's doing such a good job of kind of dodging that, anticipating some of this pressure, and then just holding their ground. And uh, Mr. Fall and Cracks in particular have been really, really good here so far. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that Alex was talking about in that, that opening in interview coming into today was saying, like, you know, they, they like to play this KO on pretty much every map, and that's something that we need to try to pilot around. It hasn't really even been the KO utility that's giving them that much trouble. No. I thought maybe having those zero points coming through, being able to get those tags, get the nullify out when the side is getting ready to come in would really punish the side of Paper Axe, but it's just been cracks. His rifling has been so clean so far, as well as some of those shots with the Sheriff, I do believe, but now we go back in off the back of the timeout to see whether or not Paper X can tie this up once again at 4-4, four to four, or if Foot can start to stretch a lead. Yeah, and again, it's kind of Foot sort of anticipating some of these hits and doing a good job of repositioning themselves where they're not really taking the brunt of the utility. Uh, even if, like you're saying, that cracks is zero point or something like that isn't catching uh, the Paper X players, or even his flashes in some cases, you know, Here. they're still able to just hold their angles, hold their lines. Now, Kiwi will be on the back of this cascade and you know, you always got to suspect that they're going to use that to take space. Paper X absolutely will try to set up. It looks like an A crunch potentially here. I think they want to contest into benches. Okay, yeah, Dog's going to be coming through. Kiwi with the immediate dash out. I think it's a fake here. Yeah, they're but, going for A, it looks yeah, like. Now the setup is going to be coming in. They put up the wall. Smoke in response here from Atta Captain. Trying to sway them from pushing in towards tree, but there's no one there to receive them. So they can just inch forward here steadily. Out of captain. Oh, caught moving. Just crowds walking along the side. Nanoswarm, however, will finish off Jing. Takes him down as the Hunter's Fury goes fishing, but comes up short. Nothing finding the bait. Maj on the other side, though. Managing oh. to find one Kiwi. Up to heaven. Finds another. Maj looks to hold down the site. Comes up with three. And that should be good enough. Forsaken now on his lonesome. Tap on the spike. The drone coming through. Tries to tuck down in towards hell to avoid this one. As they look for him. Do not spot him. Time to play with. We could perhaps think that, oh, maybe he was going to rotate, but no, the dart pings him, and Mr. Fallen guns him down. Five to three. But now finally starting to stretch some extra rounds here on top, now up by two. And this round here is, again, a good one from Mr. Fallen. Not in the rifling. Maj is doing a wonderful job on the site with that, but it's the utility. It's the Hunter's Fury and that recon dart there at the end. That Hunter's Fury slows up the forces of PRX gives enough time for Foot to rotate over to get into position to really make sure that Paper X can't get comfortable, can't get that plant down. Ready. And that recon dart at the end to find that kill. So money now starting to look really good. Viper's pit available for Mind Freak. Not one way, just looking to see if anybody's going to get aggressive. And a couple Bulldogs for Paper Rex as the money gets thin for them. Kiwi will be backed off this time. Gonna be able to dodge that trailblazer and still hold this angle off the back of this alarm bot. Doesn't spot anything. Wall now going up here over towards A, but see Paper X widely staring in towards mid. This alarm bot will go ahead and reveal the plan here. So push up, clear it. No contact into the A site quite just yet here. Foot. What do they make of this? And what I'm seeing here from Paper Rex is I think this timeout from Alex was to sort of get them to kind of not go for those heavy execute style to just kind of take their time, spread the map, look for this utility. No confirmation off of the flash, so Mr. Fallen immediately starts to respond with some shock darts. Yeah, I mean, you're going to be walking into this Odin spray as well. Oh, out of oh, Captain, oh. back gen, managing to find one. Something going to be taken down the swing out. Mr. Fallen finding one for Sigmund Mind Freak, getting one apiece. They're trying to bring this back into parity, but Kiwi manages to triple up, finds himself another kill. Mind Freak will fall for Sigmund and Dubai. Last two alive in a 2v3. Spike planted. Still flashes. The nade available from Cracks, but the spray of the Odin used against them. Forsaken coming away with one. 
Running out of bullets, gonna have to go for the reload or swap the weapons. Looks like he's going to go for the ladder. It's fatal back in the hand, but now into the into the 2v2. Swing out, oh, snaps in onto the Vi's head. Finds the kill to jump onto the corner. They look to double face and forsaken. He cannot realign that spray fast enough. Maj finishes him off and Foot now managed to move up six to three. Team Just eight. great discipline here from Foot at the end. Oh. Just Such really checking all their corners and Cracks so ready for Devai. Devai, I thought he had a pretty decent opportunity there, but Cracks just even better right now. Eight, five, and six on that scoreline. Doing a wonderful job on that KO. And then doing, setting Maj up for the kill on a Forsaken underneath. Hell, it, it, Paper Rex looks a little bit befuddled. It looks like Foot's just doing a good job of kind of getting a kill and then backing off, or at least, you know, delaying as long as they can these hits onto Paper Rex. And it, it's a great game plan. It is really working a treat here so far. Paper Rex just really can't seem to find e even the ability to get plants down too often. Yeah. A similar beginning. Wall up. Take some space. Flash across. Not going to be getting that contact either. So info gained. And look at the reckoning. It's not hitting any of them. They push forward out in towards main. Where Mind Freak is waiting. Paranoia not going to be lined up. But it doesn't matter because he's not going to nail the shots. That's Kiwi. The quick scope in. Find something. Shuts him down, and now we're on for a flawless. Blades in hand, swing on the corner. Devai will deny that away at least, but still a 2v4. Spike still in hand, but they know that they are completely surrounded. And you just have to fight your way out of this as Paper Rex. Devai finds cracks, but takes a little bit of damage for his trouble. He's able to dodge the zero point. And Forsaken just has to watch this wall. He's so scared, trying to use the flash to set him up. Not spotting anything. Forsaken still looking to challenge forward into the zone, and we'll just clear the recon dart. 38 seconds remaining, and it seems like, yeah, they're not going to be happy with this A site. Get ready to push out in towards mid. Maj waiting, finds him. Cracks has got the other. Only Kiwi lost. Cash in hand can buy another operator, as Foot will lock in seven for the half. And they're just sensing the time there on the clock at the end. And, you know, they know that, you know, after getting some pressure through A main, no spike being planted. We can start heading back, trying to cut off their rotation, see if we can catch them off guard. And it's a great call there from foot. They're, they're just doing a master class right now of shutting this Paper X comp down. It is so tough for Paper X to just do anything they want. Every, every step of the way, they are just thwarted. And even, you know, even Mind Freak there is ready for that push out. He dodges that paranoia and he just whiffs. And Paper X just looks off as well. Compared to where we began, <laughs> Certainly has uh, tipped the expectations ever since that thrifty win coming through in the second round. Mind Freak just going to pop in the orb, dissipates it, gets himself tucked over towards Wine. As mid gets cleared out, just taking away that alarm bot. Trying to add to the mystery here of where Paper X is going to go this time. It's Kiwi pushing out, spots the head, can't quite line it up, and does take a nasty little bit of damage there. Falls low, it's something out, pokes his head over towards B. I mean, he's still messing around with this. Bold moves here from the side of something, and he's lucky to get away with his life, especially after that op shot. Narrowly grazes him, but Forsaken is going to take the full brunt of it. Ends up getting taken down, out of captain as well, going to be finding the buy. Jing trying to get himself up here onto the site, but it's just paranoid. Gets gunned down. The Odin yet again finding value. Kiwi puts one right into something's die. Takes him down. It's a flawless round. As we get ready to go in the last round of the half, Foot already up at eight last to three. And yeah, just again, just very clean stuff here for Foot. They look totally in control of this match so far. Still have the Vipers pit for Mind Freak, one away from the Seekers, two away from the Showstopper here for Paper Rex. So let's see if they're going to make some kind of play to maybe try to get that Showstopper in hand for Jing. See him angling towards the B box potentially. We'll see exactly what they want to do, but. With Kiwi here with this op, he's gotten some really high value, high impact kills. And off the rip, spraying it, kind of expecting that maybe they were going to try to play for an orb here. And also with Maj, one away from his ult. Could be very difficult. Jing is going to be tucked in, he gets spotted. Oh. Attempt with the wall bang, not able to find it there. Boombot will go off in Kiwi's space. He's more than happy to go ahead and just eat the damage. In the meantime, the rest of Paper Rex taking position here over towards mid. Wall gets broken down. 
bit of damage across there on a Mr. Palm, but it's not the kill. Kiwi holds the angle in towards Market, finds one, looks for the headshot there on the Dubai. Barely misses the opportunity. Almost gets that kill. TP now across, triple stack over here towards Boats. It's Forsaken still moving forward into the site. Sees the off go through, knows that the Odin Springs on the one side, clears out the first player. It's one gone. Forsaken though, tagged down, 13 HP. Catches another from behind. Out of Captain gonna be taken out. Ching pushes through, finds Kiwi. Now off in hand for him once again. The pit comes down. Everything in the kitchen sink thrown at this round here to try to get another win at the end of the half. And all it's gonna take is one kill for Maj to get his ult, to get that lockdown, and that could make things really tricky for Paper X. Just needs to wait. They're out the Seeker. Shorty in case somebody's gonna be playing up close. Spraying it through. Not finding any contact there. It's everything reloaded. Make sure that he's geared up and ready to go. Gonna be able to find anything. His mind freak just on the opposite side of the wall. Gonna be st safe. Off shot from Divide. Not gonna find the connection. Now they know Maja's position. Full flash across. Another one right into his face. But they still haven't gotten the punish. But Jing will eventually come around from behind to finish him off. Paper X will finally be able to get another round on board. But eight and four half foot here size. with their map pick of ascent are looking clean. Yeah, just a phenomenal app here from Foot. They're really in control of this. Uh, from basically the second round after that thrifty they really had a good read on how paper rex wanted to attack this map and even after the timeout from paper rex pretty much stayed in control i mean it felt like they were gonna have to burn both of them yeah. in this half to just to try to get some semblance of stability but not found but you can see still all smiles on the side of the paper x players let's see how they fare as we get ready to go over onto that next half here with them shifting over to the defense but first Foot. Got to be feeling pretty damn good, but we've got a video here. Kiwi's popping off in the lobby. Let's hear from him. Bence T1 iyi bir takım ama bence e, takım içi uyumda bir sorun olabilir. E, öyle düşünüyorum ben. Sahiplere gereken her şekilde perfect çalışmışlar. Ama e, dediğim gibi oyun içindeki herhalde komunikasyonları eksik olabilir. Çünkü bazı yerlerde iletişim iletişimden kaynaklı rantları verdiklerini düşünüyorum ben. Bize kendi performansım adına şu an İyi görmüyorum. Ben yani daha da iyi olabilir. Gotta be careful. Help back behind the smoke. Do they get a half? That's what I'm questioning here. And they absolutely do. Someone, someone, can they stop this, please? Someone stop the defuse. Top 8 hedefim vardı. Buraya gelirken de bunu zaten istiyordum. Bunu başardık. Dediğim gibi ben doymayan bir insanım. Hiçbir zaman doymadım. Şu anki hani hedefler sürekli değişiyor. Bunu başardım. Bunu başardım. Ama daha devam etmek zorundayım. Playoff'lara çıktık. Okey her şey çok güzel. Daha çok çalışmam lazım. Hızlı bir şekilde hatalarımızı fixleyip ilk 8 okey. Ama neden ilk 4 ya da final oynamayalım? Bunun için güzel bir çalışma yapacağız. Well, here we go. Foot. Weren't able to get the pistol last time, but if they can lock that one down, it would feel like a very one-sided affair here to go ahead and close out their map pick of Ascent. Paper X, so want to go ahead and make it a two for two as far as those pistols are concerned, and then manage to close out the anti-eco on the back end. <laughs> yeah, certainly. It's the most important part. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that was definitely very crucial there for Foot to find that round to really have impact with those sheriffs. And now for Paper Rex, a couple ghosts of Frenzy for Jing. And then three ghosts for the side of Foot. Right now, though, Spike still in spawn. So for, I'm kind of curious what Foot wants to do here. Looks like they're going to try to maybe anticipate a push out. A lot of times, Paper X will try to kind of just flash and push around the corner out of A main, things like that. It's got to be, especially with that toxic screen there, kind of expecting that maybe they're trying to make a play off of that. And they're being a little bit cautious about it. In fact, yeah, Paranoia invested. Fully expecting that hit out of A main was foot, but actually Paper X nowhere in the vicinity. Yeah, I mean, just actually zero attention paid over here towards A. But looks like they're gonna be there's gonna be an attempt, maybe a little bit of a fake here. But as they do spot three off the back of the zero point, seems like they will just go ahead turn their sights over towards B very quickly. Market door already shut, gonna be broken down. Walls coming up. Forsaken can do his damnedest to try to dissuade them from pushing forward here into the side as Jinko's rushing out. Frenzy in hand, but Kiwi shuts him down. Forsaken inching forward, finds oh. one, gets himself a second. Keeping things a little bit more narrow here, a little bit more tied up, but Hipper X will be able to inch forward, take the lead once again, and something finds himself a second elimination here in the pistol. And Paper X will be able to go two for two in that regard. They move up now to five. Still decent way to try to run this one back. <laughs> what a what a hold here from Forsaken. Throwing everything in the kitchen sink here with those smokes, with the high tides, with the cascades to buy the time.
for the rest of the reinforcements to show up for Paper Axe. Even getting a couple big kills in there as well. Make sure that Foot couldn't find any hold on the, that B site. Really nicely done, and, and a good start here for Paper Rex. Uh, again, very different looks on these pistol rounds than what you're used to. You're kind of used to, again, I'm saying that, that they like to push out of A main like this. You can see here, they're using a snake bite to control that orb, but they like to get aggressive off the rip, you know, and that's obviously they're known as W Gaming for a reason. They like to go at you. They want to take those aim duels with you because they are that confident and they are that good. Manj, early damage taken as the pain chill came through. All going up as Jing just looks to occupy this forward space here in B main. Is that forsaken alongside of him? Mid completely left open though. Smoke will get dropped, but they have the market door shut. So this is their little backup here. Don't have a kill joint. Yeah, just shut the door instead of putting an alarm bot in. Their point not gonna spot anything. Forsaken just dips back into the cove, gets the tank. Ooh, and Kiwi will be able to get that jumping right click across. Finds him as Jing though. Holds the line over here at B main, guns down four to deny any kind of thrifties from coming through this time around. And no sheriffs to be found that round uh, for foot, but still able to get a couple big kills with those classics. But I, one of these things I love about the way that Forsaken plays Harbor in particular is the way he sometimes, he, you know, he's great at setting up his team, uh, you know, especially... Flash uh, bullet. Yeah, jeez. But especially, you know, you think about something and uh, they, they really work together with Divide. <laughs> Uh, they really work together to try to get these setups and a fast push here. Now they're pushing the pace. Oh, yeah, Tile's crunching at a captain. He is just none the wiser. Didn't know what hit him. Oh. Swing in. Something finds a follow up headshot. Cracks going to be taken down. Takes a casual little dismiss back out to safety. Dubai, in the meantime, still going to be lingering forward. Knows that they have this spike under the control. And he wants to keep it that way so the walls continue to rise. Forsaken to lock them away from this necessary objective. I, this is what I love about Paper Rex. Oh, they're when actually you making least, them call it back off. Yeah, but, but, it's, but these hits come when you least right expect them, right? Uh, they're on the bonus. You wouldn't think that most teams would want to get, you know, crazy aggressive towards towers like that, especially without a jet. I mean, I don't think most people are going to anticipate a tiles crunch with Arena. Right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, wild plays here. Looks like... Inch around, see if they can find anything, but no. For sake, you'll find Maj, something. Catches Kiwi, that once again strands the spike and Mr. Fallen. Let's see if he decides to play for anything at all here, but will just end up falling. It's back to back 4Ks, one duel is to another, something. This time coming away with it. The Empress now online, and Paper X are within touching distance, 8 to 7. Something is really tricky to deal with, especially on this defender side on Ascent, you know, against DRX especially able to work on the A site where I see him sort of shifting over here. There's a lot of room to maneuver. You can get those first bloods, get those dismisses, you know, especially on dice on site and things like that. He can cause a lot of problems, but going back to Verzegan real quick is Harbor. He does a great job setting up his team and sometimes he sets up himself. He uses that cove to play off that angle through market, things like that. Kiwi with the Sheriff. We've already seen him do some serious work with it already. Let's see if Foot can find themselves another Thrifty. Something is going to be noted, and he just swings out to take down Mr. Fall, and the blind is still through there on Amash as well. Something comes away with two. Empress not pops, is not needed. Knows that they're going to be going against the lighter by, and now he's got himself a third. He's looking for the fourth, and something is on for the ace. Dismisses forward. He's on the hunt. He's looking for him. And Kiwi tucked into the corner. Can he shut it down? Can he deny it away? No, he cannot. As something will electrify the crowd. And Paper X will tie it up now at 8-8. Eight to eight. Unbelievable stuff. He loves to push top mid. And this time around, he is just ready for every hit along the way. The Leer is brilliant. Maj is stuck trying to deal with it. And then he just keeps going. Catches at a captain a bit off guard, trying to get the spike out of there. And then Kiwi just can't get the aim ready in time. Unbelievable stuff there. Just absolutely amazing. He is so good at making something out of nothing. Oh, God. Anyway, <laughs> into this next round. Sorry, guys. You're going to have to deal with this. Um, <laughs> eight to eight. You're stuck that, in here with me now. That was the, the attempt at the thrifty. Low buy. Oh, but something just plays up the back of the fake flash. Kiwi turns away, trying not to get blinded. As a swing comes in, something with a quick punish, a quick exit.
And that's so much of your, your punching power taken away with Kiwi on the floor. And he's just, once the confidence gets flowing on this Reyna, it just snowballs. He just starts taking these angles, taking these fights that you aren't really ready for. And he's just clean and fast. And he can use those dismisses to just cause so much disruption. A lot of utility invested here towards the market. Jing is backing okay. up. Crack's able to find Dubai, though. Well, great opening shot. Use that. Takes him down. It's not without any cost. Let's find himself at 13 HP. Leafs brings this back into their favor now as Hattie Captain will also find Jing, but for the sake of swinging out, manages to get one, but he overstays far too long. Something pushing out of the smoke, comes away with one, but now he's all on his lonesome in a 1v2. Right here. With the 1v3 clutch, if he can get it done, here's the rotations. They know exactly where they are. No Leers to play with. A couple seconds Ten to spare seconds here. Left. The plant will come down. Spike planted. Still, still got a little bit of, bit of time to play with. And if anybody can do it right now, it is something. If he can come away with one, he's got the dismiss available. Two of them to play with. Swing in. Ooh, he's not going to be able to pop it fast enough. The double face is good enough there from the side of foot, and they will keep themselves in the lead at 9 to 8. That's a great plan there from foot. That way, if he does try to dismiss out, it makes it a lot harder for him to get a kill and then leave before they're both going to be able to shut him out, shut him down with that double stack. Really nicely thought out there by foot. Recognizing that situation really nicely. Getting back into nine rounds here, one ahead of Paper Rex, and now you have the Blade Storm for Keely. <laughs> He's gonna pop it again. It never gets old watching Alex. <laughs> I mean, Alex is getting old, I think, as we watch this. He's definitely aging at a rapid pace. Get out of my way. But I'm right there with you. It is always entertaining. Up now into the hands of something. Recon does get the ping. As the updraft goes through, Kiwi showing some presence and forces him off the angle. Yeah, good recognition here. Nice paper Rex. Jing trying to work off this boom bot. Forsaken right behind him. Let's see what they want to do off the back of that drone. Just leave, yeah. Don't want to mess with it. That's wise. They know that this blade storm is lurking. Market door again. It's going to be shut out. Showstopper sent through and out of cap, but he can't get away from it. I thought maybe he had closed enough distance to not get picked, but no, ends up falling. And now that's the smoke's gone. As they turn their sights over towards A instead. And Cracks tried to shut him down with a zero point, but it was just a bit late. So Jing able to barely sneak through with that kill. Hear them stomping through something, looking to get up in front of the Viper wall, but oh, rare whip. Shorty out, the push into the smoke of the right click does not connect. Something shuts him down, the Reckoning forcing Maj forward, Forsaken will find the elimination. Something gonna get caught off guard, but so too is Mr. Fallen, his mind freak off that flank, makes his presence known, and we are tied up yet again at 9 to 9. Good hold here from Paper Rex. And Jinx somehow finds value with that showstopper that I thought. Was it going to be able to hit Kiwi? You know, Kiwi's updrafting, trying to dodge it. And instead, a Captain just barely caught out with it. To rotate over, and Foot is going to pump the brakes. Absolutely time to take a timeout, and yet... Yeah, with something really heating up now, Forsaken's got this Odin. Starting to put it to good use. Now you got to think about, okay, how are we going to stop this momentum that Paper Rex has built? I mean, so far, just the one round here on this attacking side need to find their footing. They've got some decent tools here. They're one away from having a lockdown, one away from a null command. Hunter's Fury already online, and Mr. Fallen's been, you know, on that defending side, especially very clean with finding picks or at least getting some tags across. We saw him get that setup kill on the Jing as they were trying to entry over onto the A site. If he can have a good round with that one, pop it off the rip, get a catch onto somebody, you know, after using an Aldron perhaps, get that opening pick, that might get the blood flowing again here for the side of foot. Yeah, and I, and I think you could maybe play for a trade. If you can identify where something is, if you can get the null command online for cracks, you can and then get a spot like you're talking about onto something, you can maybe isolate this operator because you can prevent the dismisses. You know, even though he gets one, you can play for trade right away and make sure that something, you know, can't do the rain of snowball dance where she's just dismissing all over the place. I'm, I'm really curious to see how Foot wants to do this. Like you're talking about, a lot of alts almost there. You know, Maj went away from the lockdown as well. So let's see. The tools that are there, the Sheriff, the Spectre even being That's true. bought in here from the side of Atta Captain. Decent odds here to try to get themselves a thrifty win. 
something again gonna get revealed. Good early info. Spot out that operator. Now can try to play around him. Push out towards A main. I'm Jing and Forsaken. That dog's gonna get a little bit of info. Divine now knows there's at least two there and a good reaction from something. He's fallen. Thinking that he was gonna have you know enough space to be able to push forward. Saying surely something is repositioned, but no, this is uh, this is Paper X. They like to re-aggress. Jing now arriving at top mid. One, two, looks for the third, has the nade, sends it cracks his way, and he's flushed out into the open, but still is gonna be good for the kill. But the nade, the martyrdom, it comes through. Jing picks it up. Oh, shoulder seen, Maj dead. Forsaken will finish him off, and Paper X will be able to take the lead. But this is now the round. The buy getting ready to come back through. We suspect is where these ults are going to be invested now that they have four online. Where the game plan was set in place during that timeout. Yeah, exactly. Jing just loves to one tap that Vandal. One of the best in the business. Again, a great reaction from Crax, though, to at least get something out of that incredibly difficult position with that Spectre to find a kill there, to find some value. <laughs> But now these alts all stacked up towards A and a lot of utility. The paranoia gonna back him right off. The snake bite to slow this hit down at least for a moment. Here comes that null command. Yeah, I mean util exchange, but now not available from the side of Paper Rex. The null command does look to escort them forward. There's the tag off the drone. Defy, however, managing to find two, gets himself a third. Mr. Fallen will be able to get the Punisher with that Hunter's Fury, but so much damage dealt. Now Kiwi spotted, tagged up, dashes out. The one shot left of the shorty, not gonna be able to find the connection there. It does not matter. This Paper X will shut it down so swiftly. You're going to scatter from my stuff. Super and now, at 11 to nine, there's one round away from locking in that map point. As we can see, again, the cash is consistently getting kicked back here from foot. Yeah, and they tried to do what you were kind of thinking of here, right? No command into this Hunter's Fury, but Dubai, just so clean with it. Sometimes the Sultan just does that. <laughs> Unfortunately for Foot, it's not the round that they were hoping for. It's not the one that guys was trying to set them up to have. Divide just put his foot down and held the A site. Spot on to Mind Freak, but doesn't really give away too much for Paper Rex. He's been a mainstay at the A main entrance. Crax is trying to sneak his way through here. Dubai once again will be guiding the, a, the tree area. Here. Let's see what they want to do. Just really taking their time here is foot, but mind freak. Ooh. Stags up. Kiwi, the headshot through. Your point cleared out. They know that that's going to be the approach from the KO here over by tree. And Dubai up on top, just managing to find one. There's a little bit of damage there from the fragment. And now wants to push forward with the shorty in hand. Those rushing up, doesn't find anything. Will draw back over towards Heaven as the Seekers now are going to be let loose. Lockdown's available, but surely not. Here from Maj, do we need a lot more than that as Mind Freak tries to get himself in underneath the door. Can't make it happen, but Jing arrives at back. Jen shuts out at a captain. And now it's all on Mr. Fallen. Classic in hand. As, I mean, he's just <laughs> running at him with an Odin. Like, he's just, he just runs right past. You absolute <laughs> madman. <laughs> It's a flawless round. I don't know how, but it's a flawless round. As Forsaken is just giggling maniacally, running forward with an Odin in hand. Well, and that's when you start to know that things are going very, very badly as an opponent is when Paper Rex starts getting a little bit, a little bit silly. And they love to have a little bit of fun along the way. It's just when Paper Rex is laughing, that's when you know things are bad, going bad for you as your opponent. And they are having a good time on stage right now. They're always having a good time, though. They're a, just a lighthearted bunch when it comes to their big matches. I don't think I've ever seen a team that can weather pressure as well as they do. Yeah, they're absolute lunatics. <laughs> Timeout, final one called here. At map point for Paper Rex Foot looking to run this back. Given just the way that things have been going. It seems unlikely. They have still that huge tool in the lockdown available. If they can get Maj into a great position, dump that all, take a sight, and be able to hold the lines, maybe there's a world where Foot can fight back and get us into an overtime. We know that these players are capable of it. They've displayed, I mean, the fact that they are here in this position 
absolutely proves it. But this has just been slipping away from them ever since swapping over onto this attacking side. As you can see, still just that one round gained. I think Paper Rex gonna try to contest this aggression over B main. They've got Forsaken something don't, don't inching here. Like oh he no. He needs to get the lockdown. Forsaken. They know, they know. Okay. Still tagged up. Widely gets away from it. This does allow for Jing to get himself into a very forward position. And if he can get this orb, he's got the showstopper. Let's see if that contest ends up coming down. It's Kiwi taking space, making their way forward. Ready to swing into market, but something is taking an even more aggressive position now. He's moved up. He's going to get Ooh. shut down. Great covering fire there from the side of Atta Captain. Finds that kill. Jing, however, gets the punish. Maj going to be taken out. That means the lockdown cannot come through in this round. So the rest of foot need to try to close this. And now they can't go towards Dick. Jing. They know he is the showstopper. They have to change direction. Oh, the one tap divide. Scoped in, finds one, tries to hold down the spray. Can't make it happen to Mr. Fallen. Flushes Mind Freak out of wine. That's huge. That space taking the site now. Is theirs. Plant can come in. Forsaken with the Odin. Still going to be a pain in the rear, though. Some shots through, Mr. Fallen gonna be taking low, the drop down into the cove, the push oh, aggressively. Oh, oh, oh, oh. Forsaken wasn't expecting it, but Kiwi gives him a bit of his own medicine here. Jing finding one. As you mentioned, Showstopper is available. And now, jumping out, gets one with the shorty, but Mr. Fallen narrowly manages to find his head. Gets that kill, foot still alive, but so much damage dealt. What kind of buy can they get? It's gonna be a lot of half armors. Oh, Jing. I thought for a second there he was going to get it. Just some great rifling here when the pressure, when their backs are against the wall. Foot able to dial up some really, really nice aggression. Kiwi there catching Forsaken completely off guard. Really nice stuff. And Devai, you know, probably kicking himself a bit. Able to dodge that paranoia. Get the lineup through tree door. Get a first kill. Probably feels like he should add another. Here we go. The showstopper. Oh, crunch with the showstopper. And Maj again is dead. Cracks, however, gets the punish, brings it back now to a 4v4. Paranoid Cross, out of Captain, gonna be down low, 14 HP remaining for him. The pings come through, Mr. Fallen finds for second before getting taken down by something. Now a 2v3, the Empress gonna be popped, as the spike is getting planted here at B in a moment. But oh, something just holds it down! Finds himself a third of the round, might be looking for a fourth. He would have seen him. Knows that out of Captain was around Alley. And he's just gonna be slow walking as quietly as he possibly can. Mind Freak watching the back angle, however, ready for the punish. It will only take one bullet to finish him off. The creep across. Atta Captain needs to hit the shot of his life, but he cannot get it done. Defenders win. Another monstrous round here. Another rush play from Paper X to get themselves a map win on Foot's pick of ascent. And that is why we love to see something on the Reyna. 24 and 13 across that for the score line for him. Just absolutely started to pop off that defender's side. And Paper Rex, once they got that confidence going, once they switched halves, they were all over Foot. Foot doing a great job on their defender side. Really, really gave Paper Rex all they could handle. Really befuddled them at times. And Paper Rex, though, still just so strong as a team and so difficult to get a read on. They're all over the map. They're always doing different stuff with their utility. And man, they're great. That they are. Well, we still have one more map at least here with Pearl coming up. Paper X map pick. Gonna be feeling very confident there, but maybe Foot can get the upset and extend this all the way to three. So don't go anywhere. That map is coming up in just a bit.
Little moments of joy are not so little. They are pure joy. Therefore, treat yourself. Come to Andalusia.